Hey Earth Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, the Hermit and Queen of Wands just flipped there, star at the bottom. Don't know if that means anything to any of you, but we will put it back in because I didn't call for it. So some of you could have uh, taken a step away from a fire sign or sign female, especially um, Aries, Leo, Sag, to take some time to think. Let's see what your cards say, though. All right, your first card out is the Two of Wands, trying to decide what to do. Um, a little bit of indecision here. The second card out is the Strength in Reverse. Facing fears, no longer letting doubt get in the way. There's that hermit again. Spirit's advice for you guys is the Ace of Wands. Nice. And the outcome of this situation is the Six of Swords. Bottom of your deck and shared energy is the Queen of Cups. Clarified with the Eight. Whoa. Eight of Pentacles. And the Emperor. Nice. Bottom of the deck now is the Nine of Wands. Wow. The Ace of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So new love's coming in for a lot of you Earth signs. But right now you're trying to decide what to do or this is your person because energies can be vice versa. So one of you is at this crossroads um, trying to decide which path is going to be most successful, which path is going to make you the most happy, um, and really trying to figure out what to do next. Yeah, so that's being clarified with the King of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So one of you was walked away from by an earth sign. So either you are dealing with another earth sign or this is your other person. Um, because somebody, the earth sign walked away from somebody, causing a lot of sadness, a lot of heartache. Even though they felt they were their soulmates, they still walked away. They still went back somewhere where they felt more stable, more uh, grounded, more financially secure, um, leaving this other person at a crossroads. Do I continue to hold on or do I let go of this other wand? Um, yeah. Why is the strength card here in reverse? The other person is finally facing their fears. Um, no longer letting doubt stand in their way of movement, um, no longer letting their demon inner demons dictate where they go from here or not, allowing them to balance out their, their light and their own internal light and dark and making movement, taking that leap of faith could be with a fire sign. We have now have, uh, Sag, Leo and Aries, but, um, this person was scared to take that leap of faith in the in the past, scared to walk away from money for some of them, scared to be hurt for some people. Um, a lot of reasons why that fear and doubt had stood in the way of moving forward and taking that leap of faith. The energy coming towards you guys is the hermit. So some of you have been in this time of pause and this time of retreat, stepping back from the connection. Um, really taking some time to think, to find that inner light. Um, but the energy coming towards um, you guys and this couple is movement, making, coming out of that time of reflection and making an offer of love to somebody you feel would be, um, that you want to be your, wow, that you want to be your partner in life. Look at that beautiful bottom of the deck. So Spirit's advice is the Ace of Wands to follow your passion, to not hold back, to go where your fire um, will grow, will where your passion can take over. Why is the Ace of Wands here for the advice? Why is the Ace of Wands here for advice? 
All right, so Spirit's advice is to follow your passion, to allow this transformation to take you places you've never been, um, to cut your, use the sword of truth to cut out of a situation where you're being held back, where you're not able to grow, where you're not able to follow your passion. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords always has butterflies in the card. This is in the back of his chair. That's signifying transformation, flying away from where you're at, growing, coming out of that cocoon and leaving. Coming out of this cocoon and flying away with the King of Swords. It's time to cut yourself out of a situation that's been holding you back, something that you have been in your head about for a very long time. It's now time to release that, to take action and follow your passion. In the outcome, that is exactly what this group of you are doing. Moving away from a situation that had a lot of uh, rough patches, a lot of hard situations, and allowing your intuition to move you into a different direction. Why is the Six of Swords here in the outcome? Wow. So you are choosing to do what's best for you to lay your swords down and walk away, leaving a situation where there's a lot of conflict, a lot of arguing, a lot of bickering, a lot of fights that are not fair. You're leaving those rough waters and moving into smooth waters because you are deciding to take the path that leads to your soulmate. Um, you are leaving somebody in the past that is not wanting to let go of you, but you are you are following your passion. You are allowing that transformation and that inner guide to move you forward and moving you right into the right into a, a situation where you can be with who you feel is your soulmate. Clarifying the bottom of the deck. We have the Queen of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Emperor coming out in that order. Wow. So here we are. The King and Queen, both the bottoms of the deck, um, clarifying each other. The perfect match, the perfect pair. Earth sign, this is what you are moving towards, leaving behind this and this and moving towards this just a beautifully vibrational match where there's this unconditional love for each other the love for you that you have for each other is unspoken but it's known it's e it's eternal it's real um and both of you are very sure of your emotions both of you are very positive of how you feel for each other trying very hard to manifest this relationship from the spiritual into the material, wishing on a star. The time is now. Divine timing is here. The stars are lining up. Divine action or action is um, needed to be taken. So you can, um, eights are all about taking action now. So the time is now for this divine timing. Your wishes are coming true. So Make sure you're wishing big because it's all here for you. Um, you could be connecting with a fire sign. Um, this is taking back control of your life. You could be messaging somebody, another fire, or you could be messaging a fire sign. But this is all about ready to step into your power with your power person. This is a power couple. Um, this is a soulmate couple where you're ready to take control of your life, make your own decisions, no longer allowing other people to decide for you. Um, and you could be reaching out to somebody else, wanting to um, apologize for some of you, wanting to start over for some of you. Because remember, in the beginning, you walked away from this person, um, Earth sign. So now you're wanting to reach out to this person today, wanting to start over new, wanting to start over fresh, um, and really build the empire that the two of you have wanted. The time is now. Um, earth signs. So very, very positive reading for those of you who resonate with that. Um, manifesting, coming out of this dark night of the soul, coming out of this transformation, no longer fighting for something that is meant to be released. Once again, cutting yourself out of a relationship. This is also the divorcee card um, and moving into a more balanced, peaceful self, healing, um, love for self, love uh you know, self-respect, self-assurance, like just believing in yourself. Um, you can do this earth sign because some of you have had a lot of fear moving forward. Do not let that stop you. 
do what makes you happy and uh, move in the direction that that's going to be for you. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless.